Hi, this is Abdul Munaf, working with Active Global Security Systems as a product engineer. Active Global Security Systems is a premier manufacturer of auto riders under the brand register name of APSS at Chennai in India. The firm officially started its operation on May 2003. Now we'll see what is auto rider and where we can use this auto riders. GD GD is a GSM auto riders. This system is totally based on security product. The communication between the end users is fully based on GSM networks. Whenever there is any intrusion occurs, the GSM auto riders automatically dial the end user's phone number. Basically, this system is interfaced with fire alarm, burglar alarm, or intrusion alarms, heavy load industrial machines, and TBR outputs and uh, temperature control alert. Now I am going to tell about active GSM dialer. It has two triggers, trigger 1 and trigger 2. Now we will see how to enter into main menu. Before that you have to deactivate the two triggers, trigger 1 and trigger 2. Now press F4. It will ask at enter password. Enter the default password. Press enter. Now enter the option option 1 edit password you have to enter the edit the default passwords in this option and option 2 set zone trigger zone 1 is closed condition normally and zone 2 is closed condition normally if you want to change the condition you can use this second option press 1 for zone 1 set zone trigger zone 1 is in open condition if you want to change the condition press F1 it will show us close press enter the trigger is saved press escape and third option is phone number if you want to enter the phone number you can use this third option now we'll see how to enter the phone number press enter and press the phone numbers as you like and press enter the phone number will be saved in third option we can save up to 10 numbers first three numbers is admin and seven numbers is users press escape and fourth option is edit text message you can edit the individual text messages for trigger 1 and trigger 2 now we'll see how to enter the text messages in for trigger 1 it is default message ATSS message 1 and fifth option is record voice message if you want to record a voice message for trigger 1 and trigger 2 press F4 trigger 1 press enter and record the voice message in this mic microphone and enter the recorded voice message will be at, uh, completed with this fifth option and sixth option is message replay count message replay count 1 to up to 9 times you can hear with your with your phone and seventh option is real time clock date and time and eighth option is set relay trigger mode it has two trigger mode trigger and application and ninth option is set relay on time relay or on time up to four hours and zeroth option is restore factory default if you want to reset the system enter s and or no escape press escape and f1 set balance command and f2 the version of this software we will be used in this system and press escape 
now we'll see how to activate the system press F3 and enter the default password and press enter now we'll see how to deactivate the system directly you have to press the default password then press enter the system will be deactivated you will be receive a message now I am going to tell the wiring procedure for active GSM dialer here we can give the input supply the range is 12 volt to 24 volt AC or DC it has two triggers trigger 1 and trigger 2 normally it is normally closed connection if you want to change that you can enter the main menu and change it normally open to normally closed it has one external relay and also called application relay common normally closed normally open you can drive with 230 volt AC and 5 amps relay and it has a one GSM module with SIM slot you can insert the SIM with this SIM slot and it has a one door tamper with the door jumper if you want to activate the door tamper you can remove this door jumper and it has a one microphone if you want to record a voice message for trigger 1 and trigger 2 you can use this microphone this is the installation diagram of active GSM dialer this is the input section DC 12 volt to 24 volt it has a two triggers trigger 1 and trigger 2 it is normally closed it also normally closed it has a one external trigger and also called as application trigger normally closed common and normally open it has a one special section called GSM module it has a one SIM slot which we can insert the SIM if there isn't any interruption in triggers the GSM module will send the information to microcontroller the microcontroller inform to the end user if you want to record a voice message in this GSM auto reader you can use this microphone to protect or activate the door tamper you can use this door jumper these two triggers are interfaced with fire panels, burglar alarms, DVRs and etc. This is the control panel connections. Now I am going to tell the commercial area connections. This is also active GSM dialer. This is the DC input 12 volt and also it have two triggers trigger 1 and trigger 2. Here also one external relay and also called application relay this is the main area it has a one GSM module and SIM slot which we can insert the SIM if you want to connect the door sensors you can use this two triggers or if you want to connect the PARs you can use this 12 volt input supply to the <coughs> PR's input if you want to connect the siren you can use this external trigger or application trigger want to activate door tamper you can use this door jumper <coughs> 